What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do something that I've been trying to figure out how to do on the DJI Mavic Mini for a while. Um, I really never gave it much thought. I've been in the settings over and over and over trying to figure this out. With my DJI Mavic Pro, there's this feature that I use, it's always on, I always turn, or it's always off. The sensors on the bottom, I turn them off because whenever I'm on a shoot, uh, a lot of times I'm on a boat. And usually when you're shooting a boat, you're shooting it go, or you're doing some type of shoot whenever you're on a moving boat and you have to catch it in midair. If the sensors are on, it's impossible to do because you try to you put your hand out there, it'll try to land, and then obviously it'll go back up. So the Mavic Mini does not have a setting where you can just turn that off. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, so. The reason why it's important is because what I just said, in the boat or anywhere really, in my opinion, it's better to do the takeoff in your hand and it's also better to just land it in your hand. And it's a lot easier when those sensors are off because it just lands with no pressure or nothing. The only bad thing, or not really a bad thing, but the only thing about it is whenever you do decide to land on the ground, you have to remember that the sensors are off or it's gonna slap the ground. I actually, I've done that one time at the golf course and it, it was actually funny. It didn't hurt nothing, it didn't break anything. It's kind of, it's kind of funny that it happened because I'm so used to catching it in my hand and I was shooting at a golf course this day. And you know at a golf course you can land anywhere, the grass is nice and pretty. So I, I throttled it all the way down, forgetting that the sensors were off and it slapped the ground pretty hard. It didn't break nothing, nothing happened except it hit the ground hard. Um, luckily it was in higher grass than the regular golf uh, grass, but it was it's kind of funny. That's the only bad thing about it. Before you do this, obviously the sensors are there for a reason. With the Mavic Mini, you know, the sensors are there for a reason. So whenever you do this, do it with caution, you know, read up on it, see what is all going on. I use it all the time. It's a feature that I wish they would have put in the Mavic Mini, but they didn't. So there is a workaround, which I'm gonna show you guys here. So just keep that in mind that, you know, the sensors are there for a reason. So read up on it and why they're there. They're, they're there so you can get your altitude and they can read where you're at and how high you are, mainly how high you are. So with saying that, let's get into the video. This technique or this thing that I'm gonna be doing to the Mavic Mini is not to hide how high you're going. It's only so you can catch it easier in your hand. It makes it a hundred times easier. So with saying that, let's get into it and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Okay guys, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this, how you can turn off the bottom sensor to where you can catch it easier in your hand. That is the reason why I use this technique so I can use it better in my hand. I can catch it, I can take it, well you could always take it off, but you can catch it a lot easier in your hand. So the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of paper about this size. There's the size to the drone. Just a, I, I use a black piece of paper because I, I think it works better. Any piece of paper could work just the same, but I use the black piece just because about that big. And then, you know, you can cut it a little smaller if you want, which I might do. Okay. And then, you know, you're gonna cover, what you're gonna do, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna cover up this sensor right here. Let me close them up so you guys can see. Okay, what you're gonna end up doing really is you're covering up this sensor right here. Not both of them, but just this one. If you cover up just one of them, your drone is still gonna be able to tell how high you are. So it's still gonna be able to send all that information to whoever it wants to send it to, or, or, or it's still gonna be able to do its job. So you're gonna have to cover up just this one right here, which is, if you have it like this facing towards you this way, it's the right one. So you cover up that sensor with a black piece of paper um, with some tape. And I have done this and I've put it in sports mode, went back and forth and it will not fly off. Type of tape I am using is actually just regular scotch tape, nothing special. If you wanna use something a little stronger, um, you can if you feel more comfortable with that. But I've used this on a shoot already. Believe it or not, I have used this little drone on a shoot just, just because I got it and I can. And it shot really good and everybody was very satisfied. This drone does shoot really good. As long as the editor knows how to, you know, do what he's doing, you are good. So just, you know, put it on the piece of paper, which I kind of messed up there, but it's okay. As long as it sticks, you're fine. Because scotch tape is see-through, so you can put it on literally anything just to make sure it don't come off and you are good to go. I'm gonna put, uh, I got one more sheet of tape here. I am going to 
make sure I have enough tape that it's not gonna come off. Put it on this side, make sure that goes down. And now, since I taped up the sensor, that is what it looks like. You know, just a piece of tape on the sensor is all it is. So now that I have that piece of paper on there, I'm gonna show you guys how I could catch it and how much easier it is to actually catch it. And for this, like I said in the intro of this video, it is so much easier to do whenever you are in a moving boat. So that is why I do it, because I shoot a lot in a moving boat, and that's why I need the sensor to be deactivated. The Mavic Pro lets you deactivate it from the settings. This one does not, but with this little fix, you're good to go. So I'm gonna show you now how to do that, or how to catch it in your hand. So here we go, I'm gonna take it off in my hand, fly it up, I'm gonna run it down the road, run it back, and then catch it in my hand to demonstrate that this is a fix for doing what I'm doing. And I am obviously gonna record the screen on my phone so you guys can see what I'm doing. So here we go. Updated. Please check it on the map. So I know this is improper, I'm facing the camera, I'm actually going to fly that way, but since it's a short distance, I'm going to put it in sports mode as well so you guys can see it. I might turn around so, you know, the signal will be better. And as you can see, you can still see the height of the drone. So I'm going to fly it down, turn it around, and then fly it back. And then now is the part where I'm going to fly it back and I'm just going to catch it in my hand and show y'all that the sensor is deactivated. You see it's in midair. And it lets you grab it. See if that was enabled, it would not let you grab it. It would go up. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.